Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. Week 13 of the NFL season kicks off tomorrow. So let me do my weekly picks against the spread. Had an awesome week 12, going 12 and 4, actually my best record of the season. Um, after stumbling a little bit of late. Uh, now I am 22 games over 500 for the season, 97, 75, and 7. So let's hope, knock on wood, that I can continue uh, these winning weeks. We are two-thirds of the way through the regular season, six weeks left. There are six teams with buys this week, so we have a total of 13 games. Let's take a look. Starting with our Thursday night game. <sighs> I don't know. Um, I'm taking the Seahawks plus eight and a half at Dallas. I am not confident in this pick at all. Seattle really has been kind of treading water of late. Haven't really looked too good. Geno Smith not looking as sharp as he did in 2022. Meanwhile, Dallas has been steamrolling some of their opponents. Uh, but they seem to do it against lesser opponents. Seattle's kind of like a middling team now. So I'm hoping for a somewhat close game. I mean, I do think Dallas wins. I'm hoping Seattle can cover. Washington is a terrible team right now. Let's be honest. I'm taking the Dolphins fair by 9.5 on the road at Washington. Washington's defense is atrocious. Their offensive line is atrocious. And I just expect the Dolphins to be able to steamroll them. Saints plus 4 at home versus the Lions. Lions coming off a disappointing Thanksgiving performance. And, man, the Saints have underachieved. I feel like they burned me before taking them. Um, Chris Olave is in concussion protocol. We don't know if he's going to play. He's on my fantasy team. Please play. Anyhow, uh, but I think the Saints could, could keep it competitive at home. And they really need to win these games. Um, tied for... First with the Falcons, and the Falcons have the tiebreaker in the miserable NFC South where no one's 500 or better. <sighs> Patriots plus six versus Chargers. These are two teams. I don't trust any of them against the spread, either of them against the spread. Uh, but maybe the quarterback change, which hasn't been announced. I just can't imagine them going to Mac Jones again after he's been benched for the fourth time in the middle of a game. I know Bailey Zappi has, hasn't come close to lighting the world on fire, uh, but the Patriots do have a better defense than the Chargers, that is for sure. And, uh, you know, maybe ba Bailey Zappi can prov provide a spark through a whole game if he's a starter again. Bill Belichick keeping it under wraps uh, just like he did last week. Uh, Steelers minus five and a half versus the Cardinals. Kind of surprised the spread isn't bigger. I get that the Steelers offense has not been good this year, but first game post Matt Canada had their first 400 yard game in quite some time. The first time this season they outgained their opponent and the Cardinals uh, got a slight spark when Kyler Murray came back and now uh, they're back to being one of the worst teams in the league. So, for this game here, I'm taking the Panthers plus 5.5 at the Buccaneers. So, I've noticed I've been taking teams who change a coach um, before the pro before in after the, well, heading into the game. So, for example, I took the Raiders first game after Josh McDaniels got fired. I took the Bills first game after Ken Dorsey was fired as offensive coordinator. And I took the Steelers first game after Matt Canada was fired as offensive coordinator. So I'm going to do it here. Panthers first game after Frank Reich was fired as head coach. And, you know, Panthers keep it competitive. Buccaneers far from world beaters. Uh, I've lost seven of their last eight, something like that. Uh, only reason they're still in Playoff hopes with them is because their division is so bad. Falcons minus two and a half at the Jets. I just think almost anyone could beat the Jets at this point. Tim, po Tim Boyle, no upgrade over Zach Wilson. Yes, the defense is still pretty good, but uh, Falcons absolute must game if they want to win their division. Uh, let's go through games 8 through 13. A tough one here. I'm going with the home team. I'd pick the home team to win, whoever the home team would be. So in this case, the Titans. 
Um, I've always been a firm believer in Mike Rabel, and I think games like this he can win. Colts right in playoff contention. I believe they got that seven seed, so it's also a game they need to win. But I'm going with the Titans. Uh, I wasn't a believer in the Broncos, um, but with each passing week, maybe I'm believing a little bit more. Five straight wins over 500 at home. Underdog against the Texans. Uh, both teams are only a game over 500. i I'm going with Denver. Um, I think the defense will do enough to at least slow down C.J. Stroud. I mean, the defense has been really good since that 70-point massacre um, where they gave up t 10 touchdowns to the Miami Dolphins. And Russell Wilson, while he hasn't been putting up ridiculous numbers, he's doing enough. This was a tough one, and it's definitely the game of the week. Eagles... Best record in the NFL. Why am I taking the road 49ers who are favorite? When the 49ers are full strength, they almost look unbeatable. Uh, you know, when Debo Samuels missed time, Trent Williams missed time, and that was when Brock Purdy had that little stretch where it looked like uh, the glass slipper may be falling off, but they've returned, and he's back to being quite outstanding, leading the NFL in QBR. Uh, Eagles have been getting by. Um, haven't been blowing out opponents necessarily. Uh, so, again, very tough game to pick. I'm going San Fran, though, to win on the road. Uh, Rams minus three and a half versus the Browns. Uh, Dorian Thompson-Robinson is in concussion protocol. We don't know if he's going to play. I'm thinking if he doesn't, P.J. Walker will start, but Joe Flacco will be right there at the first sign of need. Uh, but the Rams have been playing better as well, and don't look now. They're right in that NFC playoff hunt. Chiefs minus six at the Packers. I think they win by at least a touchdown. Yes, Jordan Love is playing much better, uh, but have the Chiefs finally found that um, receiver they can count on? Uh, Rasheed Rice had a career game last week. Can he build off that? And our Monday night game, I'm taking the Jaguars fair by 8.5 at home versus the Bengals. Bengals' defense is poor. Their offensive line is poor. Joe Mixon hasn't provided much in the run game. And we know Jake Browning, not even close to being Joe Burrow. And since that 49ers game where Trevor Lawrence was awful, he's looked excellent in the ensuing two games. So I'm expecting him to win by double digits. But those are my week 13 picks against the spread. Let's hope I could get another winning week to climb even further over 500 on the season. But let me know in the comments who are some of your best bets. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Uh, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications, I'm out.